You may have heard that instantiating classes within other classes is usually a bad practice. And indeed, it is. It's even worse when we have these big if, else if blocks within our classes that instantiate a different class based on some condition. And what's even worse than that is if we have the same logic duplicated in multiple places across our code base. Let's say we were developers for McDonald's and we're coding an order burger method. This is what our naive implementation may look like. We take the burger name as a string to our order burger method, instantiate a concrete type of burger based on the string provided, do some preparation and return the burger. The problem with this approach is that every time we have to add or remove a burger to or from our menu, we have to modify this method. And if for some reason this code is duplicated across multiple places in the code base, we have to do it in each of those places as well. How do we solve it? Our goal is for the order burger method to not be concerned with determining the type of burger somebody orders. It should be somebody else's job. Its job is is just to make sure that the burger is prepared and wrapped no matter what type of burger it is. So let's create a burger factory whose only purpose in life would be determining what type of burger needs to be made based on the name of the burger provided. This really just means that we take this whole if elif block of code and put it into another class. Let's also create a McDonald's store class and move our other burger method to it so it's not so lonely. And now we can pass in our burger factory to this class and create burgers with it instead. This may look like we shifted the problem elsewhere instead of fully resolving it, but remember that if our code was duplicated elsewhere, we can now replace it with the factory instead. Also note that this is what the Head First Design Patterns book calls the simple factory method, which is technically not even a design pattern, but more of a programming idiom. It's still very useful though, and can be used as the first refactoring attempt to make our code base a little cleaner. Whenever you're coding, remember the Boy Scout rule, leave the code base cleaner than when you found it. And if you want to know what the real implementation of the factory method looks like, click the next video.